CIT is now regarded worldwide as one of the sport's most prestigious races. This year's event boasts a superlative field for both the men's and women's elite category with a prize purse that ranks it as one of the richest in the sport, as well as a hugely impressive 1,500 strong amateur field representing over 50 countries. I'm feeling great. I came to win, baby. It's a great race, especially the distance. So why have you come to Abu Dhabi? About two days ago, we asked ourselves the same question. Why? <laughs> very excited. It's early in the season. Uh, a very good race to see how, where you stand and how you are. The weather is perfect. I do like, obviously, the bike run combination. And I think this race is hopefully going to play to my strengths. The start here is just awesome. It just makes your skin uh, just get goosebumps. I'm very much looking forward to the race, being on the Formula One circuit. I think that's spectacular. For us as, a, as a professionals, it's important to race against the best in the world, and they are all here. Abu Dhabi has put on a great show, and I'm thrilled to be here for it. I did this race last year, and I was just completely blown out for, uh, for the city, uh, of the organization, and the whole race itself. It was a great race and I was, well, I also had my best day in my life of racing, so I needed to come back. Do you know where you're going, guys? Are you confident? <laughs> We're swimming back to England. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like for the swim? Fabulous, great course, easy to see, you get the flag, uh, the, uh, what you call it, and it's fantastic. <laughs> well, let's meet Abu Dhabi's very own legend, Ferris El Sultan. When I saw this year's pro lineup, uh, I was overwhelmed that uh, we have this amount of great athletes racing here. Last year we, we already had a, a, a very uh, strong field, so this year it's even maybe stronger. It's great to be back. Last year was such a unique experience to come here and race in Abu Dhabi. With uh, such a long bike ride, everybody was expecting to the strong cyclists to make a big gap. That didn't happen and <coughs> we'll see what happened this year. The extra 20k on the bike definitely feels more than 20k. Um, so that's the biggest thing you have to deal with. I'm very happy that this race here is the the second best field behind Kona. It's a a great lineup. Uh, I think it's testament to the organisation, the sponsorship, and um, just the level of recognition that the race received last year. It's gone to another level. And it's going to be very exciting on Saturday. I think on race day, it's going to be another close one between Julie and myself. It's early season. No one really knows what kind of form they're in, but uh, we'll see what I can do. I mean, Julie's a hard ass, but so are all the other girls. Uh, we're going to have a hard day out there just trying to beat them. You're going to be out there for six and a half hours in 35 degree heat and could be windy as well. So, um, like Aniko said, the conditions will play a big part in, I think, people's tactics and, and how the race ultimately plays out. An amazing part of the world and it's fantastic to, uh, to have an event of this calibre here in the UAE. It's, uh, it's great to be a part of it. Last year we had uh, 30 countries, uh, 802 uh, participants this year are almost 40% uh, more. We have 50 countries and so everyone will raise their flags and uh, we wish them all the best. Yeah.